WTF. Kenny? It was dope. Well, it was dope that, you know, it's, just, it's dope to see, you know, more diversity in that area of female coaches aren't just given these positions to where, like, oh, you could be an intern, but then you never get hired. So it's good to see that she got a full-time position in that organization. So, you know, shout-out to Rob Rivera and shout-out to Jennifer King. And Antonio Gibbs is a damn good running back, so she must be doing something right. And she's represented by a black female Asian as well. But, uh, yeah, yeah man, just makes me kind of sad that, like, it's made me kind of sad that the Raiders haven't been more proactive on the the women's head coaching um, trend because, you know, there have been the Raiders have long had a, a a legacy of diversity and inclusion, like legit. And now, you know, they're all white. <laughs> so it's just disappointing to kind of see these okay. other teams give these 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 women a chance and. The Raiders have yet to do that despite having, you know, still the highest ranking woman in NFL history in Amy Trask. And they're going to hang their head on that. Uh, go ahead, Eric. Excellent. Uh, Bills receiver Cole Beasley played with a broken fibula for about a month. Take a tangent. Uh, what the mixtape going to sound like off this? There was pain in those bars. He gonna have a bar about a screw in his head and a screw in his leg. Kenny really gonna like that shit too, bro. I got, got a bar. screw in my foot. I mean, I, I got a screw in my, my tooth. Tooth. My tooth. Blood this morning. It was not funny. <laughs> Still a cheat. Nobody man. makes me taste my own blood. <laughs> Except me. All right, this one's been getting a lot of media coverage, and um, so we'll just go into it. Bucks wide receiver Scotty Miller says he could beat Tyreek Hill in a race. Said he's the fast. He's faster than a cheetah. Tyreek Hill don't give a fuck, dog. I'm sorry. You don't. You don't have to come out the big dog in the yard just because you're trying to get some more playing time. It's a turnover. It's the biggest turnover. Like first off, yeah, you run a four three nine, but bro, I ain't seen you burn nobody or be a coverage yet. All your catches have been in tight coverage. You're not even out running. You're not even out running to catch you faster than. And, it's, and I'm not even gonna. Go to though he's a white boy with a receptive speed line because if you want a four three that's not receptive. You're fast. But I ain't seen him pull away from nobody. I seen him barely pull away from people. It's like yeah, you can have good straight line speed, but that don't mean it translates to the field. And it's like four one speed. Then he took a seven yard pass, seventy one yards, and made it look easy. And he well, could play running back. Well, the, the only thing I'd like, say that, would that's, that's a joke. <laughs> well, the only thing I'd say that'd be kind of cool if they really put this to the stat. They were saying it early on on um, on TV, but it's like instead of having the coin flip for the Super Bowl, have these two run a forty to see who gets the ball, uh, gets the decision there. That'd be, I mean, that would be pretty cool if they really want to do that. But um, at the same time, they could probably hurt themselves and pull a hamstring during the forty. But figured. Put their money where the mouth is and do it for a Super Bowl event. Which, this isn't on the rundown, but I wanted to bring this up, and I wanted to bring it up and let's talk about it. Before, but, you know, we, there's a lot of other shit to talk about. Like, this whole versus, and I know I said it wrong, but I say it like that on purpose now, um, trend of like, oh, let's do a fucking versus. Like, hey, let's do a good news Versus, but yeah, nobody on the network wants to see us in that. But yeah, let's just let's just go ahead and do that. Like, are we, we can't fucking do a versus for fucking everything, bro. Like, what do you think about the versus the Pro Bowl highlight 
versus between players. I'd rather see some OG shit, like some real like I don't know, like put give me Rob Woodson and Charles Woodson in a, in a fucking versus. Like give me players from Charles different eras in the versus. I don't give a fuck yeah, about these Pro Bowl seasons. About that. Gio and Randy Moss were talking about that. They're like, we would just have a top 10 plays, my versus versus your versus. They're like, and I think they're like, most people don't want to see that because they're like, we did things in our era that these young cats can't do. Like, don't get it twisted. So, yeah. But I think it's kind of corny. It's going to get played out. It already is. Like, imagine they resume versus. I think the NFL kills it. Anytime the NFL does anything, it's done. Like Travis Scott killed him. (laughs) 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 Maybe that's what cursed Houston sports. Travi. He exported Astro World and it cost them uh, rings. Versus, um, we have like a versus house, and I'm really annoyed by it. Oh wait, this was on the rundown. Holy shit! Yeah. It was actually the next one. It's gonna be the next one after this one. <laughs> <laughs> well, going back in time, then let's go. Justin Jefferson says he's better than AJ Brown. <laughs> That's a touchdown. I can read your mind, Pete. That's why I put it there. <laughs> That's a touchdown, though. Justin Jefferson is better than AJ Brown. He's like, you already can target the game, bro. He's a rookie. You didn't even do that as a rookie. You he barely came on in your rookie year, like people. your last five games. Yeah. They were like, we might as well go back to Corey Davis. All right, next one. Yeah, like, you remember. Uh, Seahawks hire Rams passing game coordinator Shane Waldron. He's going to be their quarterback coach or OC. It says He's passing the coordinator, yeah. Office of, okay. He was the Rams uh, passing coordinator. Now he's going to be the Seahawks OC. Oh, okay. That's nasty. That's predictable. Hey, with anything with the uh, DK and uh, Tyler Lockett, I mean Russell Wilson, give him a tight end. Shout out to... Uh, I mean, they couldn't have hired Pep Hamilton? That's what I'm saying. That would have made more sense. Who... Oh, yeah. Speaking of, speaking of tight ends... Who's, whose wife did Pep Hamilton sleep with? Like... Who did he piss off? Like, who did he piss off, dog? Like, how are you still a QB coach? He literally should be an, he should be an offensive coordinator. At least. Um, last one. Albert Hainsworth calls for a boycott of Tennessee football due to systematic uh, systemic racism and uh, mistreatment of wide receiver coach. I mean, Kenny's Warren. been boycotting the SEC for like five years, so uh, Albert Hainsworth is late. Save the schools. He went to Tennessee. He's... Uh, now, nah, but for real, who's been paying attention to Tennessee outside of fucking? Yeah, who's paying attention to Tennessee? I mean, has Tennessee really been anything since Peyton Manning? Well, yeah, actually, they were they were in a national pa- championship once after him. Yeah, but you know who was the quarterback? Uh, this was after Peyton Manning left. You know who was the starting quarterback for Tennessee when they won their only national championship in 1998? I did watch him. Pep Hamilton? Nah, I'm just kidding. It was T. Martin. No. <laughs> T. Martin, he was a wide receivers coach, bro. He took a, um, they had him, he took a pay cut so they could like have money to get a head coach. And then they bring in fucking Josh Heupel from UCF. Wasn't he with, uh, wasn't he UCF. with USC too for a little bit? Yeah, he was. He brought in a bunch of top flight talent, and then they didn't make him as a coach. They gave it to Clay Helton, even though T. Martin was like recruiter of the year, like twice. Yeah, he was there for six years. Yep, he recruited a bunch of cats and sent them to the league. He was and in New he was Mexico. Like, he's a wide receiver. He's a coach in New Mexico, yeah. too. 
Oh shit. Yeah, he, he also um he put some cats in the league at Tennessee too. Yeah, but he has a career forty percent completion percentage in the league. Man, shut up. You used to pick him in that <laughs> Fucking fraud, bro. You fake. Dog, he has a 42% completion rate in the CFL. What is he say, Shockley? Shut up. <laughs> shut up. Stop hating on people you like. <laughs> I'm just saying. What do you mean? I have a podcast every week where I literally do that. <laughs> you should stop. <laughs> Alright, so let's get to the rest. Let me cool. Let me like be cool. Let me just be really tactful to you. <laughs> <laughs> no reason. Cause it's Tuesday. Cause it's Thursday. <laughs> but nah, um that's they want to boycott him because like even former players like Duke's uh women's basketball coach said there's virtually nobody who's not white in so many words. Like all the senior people in the athletic department, they're all white. They're all white people. They've only had three black head coaches in the school's history. I mean, that's like, more than probably some Martin. other schools in the SEC or the Big Ten. Yeah, but Tennessee is Tennessee is pumped out how many black athletes? By the way, I'm sad that Candace Parker didn't resign with the with the Sparks. She was the Chicago Sky. The fuck. All right, Kenny. So with that, why don't you go ahead and and get into your rant? Yes, I'm about to go in the house because it is cold as shit. You've been outside Um, this whole time? Yes, I've been outside this whole time. You can stand on your feet that long? No, I'm just (laughs) (laughs) fine. Wow. You see what I'm talking about? It's toxic, bro. It's toxic. Venomous. New new title of our show, uh, Toxic toxicity and uh, toxic toxicity and broken teeth. It's the title of tonight's show. This is why I come up with the titles because you're not good at them. <laughs> God damn, that was terrible. That's worse than most of your positive relationship with your friends. You know that, right? Ah, uh. Jesus. But anyway, um, yeah, mostly. I'm on vacation this week from work, and I actually, like, have to really think about the last time I took a vacation, like, a legit vacation. And it was honestly, like, and it wasn't even really graduating college, because really I just had, like, three days off. I haven't had a vacation legitimately in, like, four years. So, it's kind of nice, you know, pouring down raining. Uh, my sister's birthday just passed. Shout out to my big sis, Courtney, 32. I told her, I said, you know you're making me feel really old and you're yanking me into my 30s and I don't appreciate it. And she was just like, oh, it's okay. You're going to freak out. You're going to have a huge freak out. But then you'll be okay. Everything will make sense. I'm like, what? But she, she said the same thing to me when I turned 25. But before I turned 25, she said, you're going to have a quarter-life crisis. Jesus. You're going to spaz the fuck out. But it's going to be okay. I'm like, is it like really bad? She's like, it's going to get really bad. Like, you're going to not know who or where the fuck you are. You're going to question everything. But then it'll make sense. And she was right. So, salute to her for the heads up. Mostly, man. Yeah, I'll just stay safe out here. She's crazy. And do your taxes. You get your, de- your taxes done early. Because who fucking knows? Uh, yeah, and I guess since Newsom finally opened up the state, I guess I should be happy, but I'm really not. And fuck GameStop. And also, shout out to them cats from Reddit who pretty much exposed that, yeah, as soon as poor people start making money in the stock market, they change the rules. Other than that, I'll take it easy. All right, Izzy or Eric? I just hope that um, Aaron Rodgers doesn't end up on the Rams. He's not going to leave Green Bay. Oh, now I kind of hope he does. I hope he does. That's insane. He's going to stay in Green Bay, you think? I'm going to go to Vegas, personally. 
Yeah, no kidding. Uh, I mean, it, it'd be a tough thing to swallow to get rid of. 